Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how we can create a table using HTML. Let's create a table of store hours for a fictional business. I'll create a title using h3 header tags. The title will be store hours. What are the hours of operation for our store? To create a table, we need a pair of table tags. For the first row, we need a pair of tr tags, meaning table row. So the first row is going to be filled with table headers. How many columns do we have? Well, if we have a table of store hours, there are seven days in a week. We will need seven pairs of table header tags. So let's copy and paste these tags six additional times for a total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now for the first column, the header will be Sunday. We have Sunday. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So here's my first row. The first row is your table headers. Add one header for each column in your table. For another row, we need another pair of TR tags, meaning table row. So for my second row, I'll include table data. We need TD tags. So we'll need a total of seven. On Sunday, our fictional store is going to be closed. I'll type closed. As we can see that this data is underneath this header for the second row. Monday, the hours will be 9 to 5. Let's apply that for the other days besides Saturday. Monday through Friday, the store is open between 9 to 5. Saturday will be reduced hours, 10 to 2. All right, not too bad. To align the table data, what you're going to do is within the table row, take the align attribute, set this to center. Or otherwise, if you would like to write justify it, you would type write. But let's stick with center. Let's align the first row as well. We can also add a border within the opening table tag set border equal to zero. That's for no border. Then increase the number depending on the thickness that you want. So one will give us a border that is this thick. Two and three. Let's stick with one. Let me move this a little. These table cells aren't exactly the same size. The word Wednesday has a lot of characters. Within each of these header tags, I will set the width to be maybe 100. This column is a little bit larger now. Let's copy the width and make each header have a width of 100. Okay, this table is all uniform now. But if we were to shrink this window, the cells would be compressed. Okay, let's change the background color. Let's begin with the table. I will set the style attribute to be a CSS property. Let's set the background dash color to be black. The whole table is black now, so let's change the color for the headers. And I'm just going to copy this style attribute. Let's change the first row to have a color of light blue. We can at least see the text now. And then for the second row, let's pick a different color. I think this color would be good. Alice blue. Yeah, that's not too bad. If you need additional rows for your table, Use another set of TR tags, meaning table row. Then you can add another set of data. All right, everybody, that is how to create a table using HTML.